All right, so I made a post yesterday on the Facebook page that got a lot of attention. Um, people were either saying yes or no, but I'm just going to make a real quick video on how to lower one of these uh, Gen 6 cars. So right here I've got a Sonoma Win um, Tony Stewart car that we'll be lowering because I haven't lowered this one yet and I want to get around to it. So first things first is taking off the bottom six screws. So you have six screws down here, one, two, three, four, and then under here we'll be taking this off for the sixth one. So let me bring in my little pad here. I've got my mouse pad over here that I normally just lay stuff on so that it doesn't get damaged on the top side from this wood. So it's got this little thing, I just put it on there. And I've got this little handy thing that I get this at Target. I think it's like $10 something like that, Mr. Seven Hands. Just use the smallest one. You can just pop them all out and get to work. Alrighty, so once you get the first four screws out, then you can go to this, uh, you can get a flathead. Either use a smaller one, I use a smaller one on this. What you want to kind of do is you want to get up under here. You just want to kind of, just kind of slowly go at it. Make sure not to bend it. You can, I won't be reapplying this because I don't have a hot glue gun, but some people do. If you have a hot glue gun, you can just pop it right back in. Not sure if you can really see it, but there's two little, yeah, two little things there that will go into these two little holes here. And uh, those will just pop right back in. Normally, you can just put it right back on, and it will just stay. Um, yeah, you can just pop it right back in, and it'll just stay like that. So. Leave that off to the side, and then there's these two screws here you want to take off. Alrighty, so once you got the sixth one out, you can put them all in a pile. They're all exactly the same screws, so it doesn't matter where they go. So now once you got all six of those out, the body should just pop straight off. You can set the body off to the side, whichever side you please, and then now you're left with the actual bare chassis itself. Um, there's a couple. Of, there's really just one easy way to take this off. These four screws around the body. So, so you got two. You have two screws on each side. You got one here, one here, and then on the other side you got one here, and you got one here. So you got four screws. Alrighty, so once you got those four screws out, you'll want to put those off to the side, but to put them to a different side because these are a different size than what the original ones were, than what your body ones are. So you kind of have to take it off. Now what's going to happen is the roll cage will break apart from the actual body of the car, like this sort of. You'll see here where it kind of breaks apart. You really don't want that, so you want to make sure those are together. So what you want to do is you actually want to lift it from the back end. And the steering wheel has a metal shaft that comes with it, so you can just bring that all the way back. So that's just like that, where you just lift it up from the back and pull it up. Uh, one thing is I have noticed is with the Fords, you've got a... Um, it's not really focusing in. You've got a little fuel line here that actually attaches to that so that will have to be broken if you want to do the Fords. Um, all the Fords I've messed with. I'm sure they're all the same but it just seems like with only the Fords I've had that. I don't have a Toyota here to know. Uh, Chevys they're not attached so you can just pull it straight off. So first thing is I'm going to set that also to the side with the body. We're going to go back underneath the car. You have two screws here for the front wheels. We're going to unscrew that. Again, these are a different size than the other ones, so put these on a different spot. You want to make sure these come out. 
It will be kind of hard to pop out. That one's being a little <laughs> terrible today. This left side should just pop right on out. Nope, does it? So neither of these are wanting to pop out, so go ahead. One came out. The other one did not. Even though it's That's why I hate messing with these things sometimes. They just don't want to me play with you. There we go. Alrighty. So it's going to the front there. This is front. Okay. So now with this front, what you want to do is you want to take the front wheel and you want to push it down because you have this little nub here that you need to get out of that little bracket because there's a spring underneath it. So you basically just push it down and away so you can pull this spring out and then you push it back in. So now, the, now it still has free travel but it doesn't have that spring in there so once you actually lay it down it'll push itself up. Down to the other side, same thing. You get position so you can see it. Push down, pull away. Make sure don't do it too hard when you put it back in because what it's going to do is it can break. I've broken one of these cars and I've lowered about a couple of them. So there's the front. Front's now lowered. Now you do the rear. What you want to do is you want to take these two screws out of the back. Again these are different but these are very easy to tell that they're different because they've got a, like a little uh, washer on top of it. So you just take both of these out. Push it down to help. There it goes. Now it's out. Alrighty. So now the the whole base will fall out and the spring fell out already. So these two little blue springs you'll see they'll be sit sitting here on the car. This one's already out so I'll put it back in so you see where it goes. So you'll see two blue springs here. Those come out. Be careful with these little things because they do move but they also break extremely easy. Um, one thing I also like to do on the car itself is take out the drive shaft. That way if I ever want to put this back together and unlower it per se, I can just put it back in and it'll be fine. Because these do have a tendency to break on this very end tip. So put that off to the side. I have a little box I keep them in. So now that the screws are out on this chassis, you've got your two bolt holes where those are the screw holes where the two big pieces where the springs were. Those go back into here. There's two little small silver pieces that you see here on the back side will go into these black things. These have a tendency to bend and break also, so you have to be extremely careful if you don't want to break it. So putting it back in is pretty simple. You just line it up. These You have these two little, uh, I guess, brackets for the ends of these. Just put them underneath there, just like that. And then you want to line up the silver piece and the black piece in there. There you go. Now you're now you got your two screw holes in there. It might ride a little low on this one because it seems like these bottom pieces are a bit small today. But you'll just screw screw in the screws back in. Now you're gonna put everything back together. Now there is a way that um, on the Facebook page, Noah E. Wing, Noah E. Wing, however you say his last name, um, he posted, his was to cut those black pieces where the springs went on. I personally don't like doing that because it damages the vehicle, although this is technically damaging the vehicle. Um, whereas this way I can just reverse it back and if somebody doesn't want a lowered car, I can easily send it as a almost brand new mint car. So, um, now that's on there, you always want to just throw it, throw the body back on there to see if you like it. It is lower. Uh, it's going to be extremely hard to tell from this camera angle. Um, 
So what I'll do is I'd, I'll do an after video once I put it all back together so you can kind of see where it sits. But I really like where this is at. This is perfect where it sits. So what we'll do is we'll take the body off again just to make sure everything's good. And uh, we'll put everything back together. So you just do everything in reverse. Um, another thing Noah had everybody do is to cut this uh, little shaft for the steering wheel. This is the steering wheel shaft. Um, he had everybody cut that. I don't care to cut it. It doesn't hurt or help me as long as you just put it in like that. Just kind of you can just kind of shove it in there. Hope for the best, really. There's like a little black piece you kind of want to get it into, but you just kind of have to fit it around and hope for the best, really. That's probably why he asked you to cut it. I think one of my cars actually the steering wheel is completely gone in it. So he's kind of there. You go. It's in there now. So screw everything back in. So for your final step before you put everything back together, so you want to take out this cross member here that's below the, the engine bay. So you have this cross member. All you got to do is just take it out. Um, you can cut it, break it, however. I just pull on mine. This is the only thing that won't make it into a completely mint build. So you can just pull it out. Uh, I'm sure you could probably like get real gen gentle with it and have it just come completely out but that actually helps lower the front end too so it doesn't sit on that so the bottom here is done now it's just time to put the body back on I think I, yep so I got all that together so now I'll put the body back on what I do and try to not damage the roof flaps is actually keep them held down put it upside down and roll it towards the front so it doesn't damage those front those uh, flaps Alrighty, like I said, you can just pop this back on there. Now with no super glue, and there you go. See, it still rolls. All the wheels roll. All the wheels, the front wheels don't really turn as much. You have a lot less turning, but you, uh, you've got the car lowered. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.